We're coming up on the anniversary of the most destructive, deadliest tornado in American history, as far as we know, in recorded history. And so, uh, actually, it hit just south of the News 10 viewing area. Griffin, Indiana was flattened. And so what I'm looking for are stories from close family members, or maybe even there's a survivor. A survivor would be well up into their 90s, but I know people who are in their 90s are actually quite sharp. So you can get in touch with me at kayorpert at wthitv.com or call the TV station 232-4953, area code 812, or our reported feature. I'm looking to hearing from you and any stories that you may recall grandpa or grandma uh, talking about, or maybe your parents too. Now, we continue to have a winter weather advisory in effect for Knox and Davies and Martin County, also Greene County, and uh, over into Monroe County. But we take a look at the Storm Team 10 storm tracker, and the snow is moving out. And so we'll see if this remains in effect for the remainder of the overnight. It's possible the Weather Service will cancel this as we get into the nighttime, as most of the snow is moving out, but not after putting down a a pretty good amount of snow down around Knox and Davies County and over into Martin County. And so you guys are still dealing with some snow on the ground. It's 18 degrees now. That's the low for the day. Casey 19, Robinson 20, Paris 18, Rockville 18, and Bloomington 20. And a breeze out there too. 10 miles per hour from the northwest, 15 miles per hour in Paris, a north wind in Vincennes at 14, 17 Mattoon, and 14 in Flora. That gives us a wind chill in the single digits. It's six in Terre Haute, four in Paris, three in Mattoon, and seven in Vincennes. So we have a pretty good wind chill going on out there. Not as bad as it has been earlier this season, but still, it's time to be finished with all of this wind chill business. And so now we take a look at the Storm Team 10 future cast. Tomorrow afternoon, we'll have some sunshine. It's not going to warm us up a whole lot. We've got this cold air that has settled in now. Cold front went through, and that's what caused us to have the snow. And so it's going to be cold again tomorrow night. But then gradually, as we get into the next several days after tomorrow, things really start to look better. So here's the uh, forecast, the potential snowfall that we had a few inches farther to the south. Here around Terre Haute, we didn't even hit uh, the uh, projected of an inch. Light snow possible, higher accumulation farther to the south. That's tapering off now, 8 degrees for the overnight low. Becoming sunny, but uh, colder tomorrow, high of 16. And 35 was the high today. And then clear and very cold tomorrow night, a light breeze, uh, one degree below zero for the overnight low. And the seven day forecast, Friday 28, Saturday and Sunday into the lower 40s, Monday 46, Tuesday 53, and Wednesday, keep your fingers crossed, Patrice, we might just be near 60 degrees.